Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to TNN News. I'm Fonz. And I'm Donovan. And I'm Brandon. Today is Monday, November 16th, 2020. Thank you for joining us. Our core values are respect, responsibility, and service. Today's quote about respect is by Bryant McGill. He says, one of the most sincere forms of respect is actually listening to what others have to say. November's character trait is responsibility. Responsibility is taking ownership and action to address situations within one's control. Congratulations to the students who were nominated for showing respect last month. Do you miss the library and want to check out a book? Well, now you can do so online. Go to the CCTS internet page and look under the search and research tab. Then click on PC ICC slash library. Fill out your order form and hit submit. Books will be delivered to your career program on the day that you attend school. For now, there is a one book limit per student. Our school has an extended learning program for students who need extra help in their math or English classes. The program is held on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and or Thursdays after school through Google Meet. If you're interested, you can sign up on our school website, which is cctfs.org. Gabriel Rodriguez from CTTS Class of 2001 has been appointed Chief of Police at Camden County Police Department. Captain Rodriguez graduated from Baking and Pastry Arts Program. Congratulations! Wednesday was Veterans Day, a day to honor those who have served in the U.S. military. We'd like to thank the following teachers for their service. Mr. Berger with the U.S. Coast Guard, Ms. Wen with the Army, Ms. Seidlecki with the U.S. Marines, Mr. Thurber with the U.S. Marines, U.S. Army Reserve, U.S. and New Jersey National Guard, and Mr. Robinson with the U.S. Army Reserve. For coverage on the recent elections, let's go to our at-home correspondent, Donovan. Thank you, Fonz. Students from all across New Jersey participated in a mock election, allowing them to vote for who they wish to be president. The mock results have officially come in, and we can see Joe Biden won New Jersey with a landslide total of 66.5%. Well, Donald Trump merely had a 26.1%. These mock results mirror the results of the election, with Joe Biden winning New Jersey and earning him an additional 14 electoral votes. As we get to the actual election, everyone believed the fight for office had to come down to Pennsylvania or Florida. On election day, it was just that. Florida and Pennsylvania became red by a very close margin. President Trump held a press conference declaring his victory. However, later that night, the battleground states began counting their mail-in ballots, which flipped them from red to blue in support of Joe Biden. President Trump filed multiple lawsuits about voter fraud. Vote counting continued throughout the week. On November 8th, Joe Biden was projected the winner of the election. He delivered his victory speech on Saturday, which focused on healing and unity. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris made history as well, by being the first female and first multi-ethnic daughter of immigrants to be elected vice president. Now let's go to Deuce for weather. Thanks, Fonz. Today will be a sunny day with a high of 54 degrees. This whole week is going to be partly cloudy. On Tuesday, we'll see a high of a chilly 50 degrees. On Wednesday, we'll only get colder with a high of 43 degrees. On Thursday, we'll only see temperatures rise a little bit with 48 degrees. And on Friday, temperature goes up to a high of 57. For the weekend, Temperature remains the same at 57 degrees. That's all I have for you folks. Have a good week. You can go back to the news with Fonz. So far, the Camden High football team is 3-1, including the win against West Defford on October 23rd, with a final score of 36-27. They had a game against Timber Creek on sat Saturday. Woodrow Wilson is currently 2-3, with a recent loss to West Defford. Wilson had a chance to even out their record against Cherry Hill West last Saturday. Soccer seasons have ended, and Pensacon High had their senior night on November 2nd. The 21st Century Drama Club is inviting you to listen to their broadcast performance of, of War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells and other spooky stories. The performance premiered on October 31st, but you can still find videos of the CCTS Gloucester Township Campus's channel. Enjoy. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. Have a great day.